Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my August 2018 update video for, you guessed it, August 2018. Woo! So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm going to go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff, so let's just jump right into it. And I know it's a little early for an August update, but I'm just out here at McDonald's enjoying some iced coffee, no ice. Pretty sweet deal if you ask me. You get a large coffee for a dollar, pretty dope. Um, get a while supplies last, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, but in any event, uh, let's just get right into the updates that I have for you guys. And first thing I want to talk to you about is uh, YouTube updates. Um, as you know, I put together some tutorial videos. I've been kind of busy for this past week, working on some stuff, which we'll get into in a little bit. Yeah, the tutorials are already uploaded to my channel. I just got to work on the thumbnails for them and then once the thumbnails are done, we're going to start uh, putting them out slowly but surely, so stay tuned for that. As far as um, personal life updates, work updates, things like that goes, we've got some pretty good news on that front. Um, first things first, uh, I have a new client, um, Raindrops Detailing out in Pennsylvania. Really excited to be working for, for them, putting together some good videos and whatnot. Now, working with them has brought me one step closer to realizing my dream of doing freelance video editing uh, full time. The rate I'm going, it's going to be more reality than dream very soon. I've also been really busy this past weekend working on my photography portfolio because a job offer has come up in the area and I realized, you know, <laughs> After taking all these pictures for all these years, I haven't actually put together a photography portfolio. So I'm just like, well shit, what do I do? So I'm combing through like a whole bunch of like really old photos and uh, I found on my hard drive a lot of like really old photos and like some raw files and stuff like that. Pictures I never put up on the internet and whatnot. So it was a lot of fun, you know, going through, getting the, uh, the old Natsukashi as the Japanese may say, feeling very nostalgic for times since past. In picking out a lot of those old images, it really um, showed me that um, I've really improved as a photographer, videographer, whatever label you want to use to describe me. Um, as far as like composition goes, uh, lighting, just getting the right colors and stuff like that in for the pictures because uh, a lot of those, especially those really early pictures, were done with uh, cell phones and even back then the quality was, you know, average at best. But looking back on it now, you know, some of them are like, Ugh. <laughs> Most of them aren't even in focus, the shutter speed's all off and it's just like, Jesus, I was so terrible back in the day. You know, one of my big hang-ups uh, when I came back to the States was I felt like, I, in a lot of ways, I was regressing as far as my own personal growth and my development as a photographer, videographer. But in reality, looking back on it now, it's been the best thing for me. I have significantly improved, um, not only just doing my own thing, but uh, editing for other people as well, you know, making their stuff look really good and you know telling their story it's been a lot of fun uh, to put yourself in another person's shoes telling the best story possible with what you're given and uh, it's allowed me to really flex my creative muscles <laughs> can't tell because i'm wearing the hoodie but you know creative muscles are swole as fuck right now i know that on uh on my own youtube channel the content's been kind of sparse as of late but uh some short-term sacrifices for uh, long-term gains. That's all I gotta say about that. I'm gonna find ways to properly uh, schedule out, you know, my own video making time, client work, uh, working on portfolios, uh, things like that, you know, pitching to new prospective clients. Um, I think it all just comes down to time management, and I think that's gonna be my next thing that I'm working on, especially as I'm getting more and more work from newer clients. Um, I'm going to have to be a little bit more savvy with my time. In that regards, I might have to make some sacrifices in some areas so I can make gains in others. If you're looking for some new vids from the old and San Sam Adeshta, um, you don't have to look very far. I have on my YouTube channel a playlist of all the videos that I've put together. And in addition to videos for other YouTubers, I've also put up uh, some videos for my production company here in Ohio called Leading Line Productions. And that playlist is going to be ongoing, so as the videos I put together 
you know, go live on YouTube, I'm going to be uh, adding to that playlist as well. So be sure to, to check it out, see the work that I've done. And if you're interested, you know, give your boy a call <laughs> or a uh, message, whatever. I'm not a hard man to find. <laughs> Just look up the Andy Son, you'll pretty much find me on any platform. But in any event, guys, um, I'm just really thankful to be living this life that I'm living. I'm not always in the best of moods, you know. Sometimes I'm pretty down on myself, and I just gotta remind myself that I'm only down on myself because I have higher expectations for myself. With that said, guys, I'm gonna get going. I gotta finish off this uh, this iced coffee here. It's getting warm. <laughs> especially with no ice. So with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. As always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Oh, yes.